Well, he designs swimming pools by day and impersonates <laughs> a rock and roll pioneer by night. Kim Holden introduces us to a local man whose creativity on both jobs makes people smile. On most days, you'll find Dino Marshall designing a backyard oasis like this. The beauty of it is, is that you have the tranquility of water running down the stone and also the sound of the water. Beauty, born as the result of a well-orchestrated, labor-intensive plan. This is called the excavation or the dig. This is where we dig the hole, we get rid of the mud, and get ready for a swimming pool. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, Good to okay. see you. Good job. Sure Marshall, who works for Ladner Pools, has been in the business off and on for decades. So I decided to get back into creating pools, which uh, is a creative outlet. But while building pools is his creative outlet by day, <laughs> by night, he's swimming in creativity and in the spotlight. Impersonating the legendary Little Richard, an art he's perfected for more than 30 years. I didn't know him. I knew of him because, you know, he was one of my heroes. Marshall's music career began in New Orleans when he started a 50s and 60s rock and roll show band called the Bel Airs. He was also in the band Clutch, inducted in the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame in 2012. He's played gigs in casinos coast to coast from Las Vegas to Atlantic City. We became the number one act at then the world's largest casino, the MGM Grand. And that's when he says the entertainment director at the MGM lit a fire under him. So he came to me and he says, man, you got to do the king of rock and roll. And I said, Little Richard? He said, no, Elvis. I said, well, Elvis is not the king of rock and roll. You know, Little Richard is the king of rock and roll. He kind of laughed at me and snuffed me and said, yeah, as if you can do Little Richard. No one can do Little Richard. Marshall's impersonation of Little Richard has kept him busy. And it's been a lot of fun. It's taken me all over the United States and the world. I mean, I've, re I've worked the Republican National Convention, um, the uh, owner of the Miami Dolphins birthday party, um, Times Square about two years ago, virtually every casino in Las Vegas and Atlantic City. He's such a dynamic performer, you know, and I sort of, I feel, get it, you know, and, and get his essence. But I've added comedy to that, you know, and sort of merged him with, a, with an old comedian named Dom DeLuise. And he's not afraid to push the limit. Nobody's going to hit Little Richard, you know. He's not offensive to anybody because he's effeminate, you know. As a performer, he hits a high note with the crowds. I thought he was fabulous. My wife thought he was the real deal, so he thought he was the real guy. He was awesome. A rock, pop, a new vibe, a black band, a new do the do Marshall says Little Richard has even recommended him for jobs over the years. When Bally's opened up here, you know, I had to have Little Richard himself and the president of the NAACP both sign and send letters, you know. Little Richard saying, you know, Little Richard always says, get the white boy, get the white boy. <laughs> Today, Marshall does mostly corporate shows and conventions, but he continues to make people smile by day and by night. I think it's, well, no, I don't think, I know that in this life, the greatest, um, it's a hard life, and making people laugh, making people have a good time, if only for a little bit, taking their mind off of their day, is the biggest reward there is. And that's kind of why I do it. Quite the crowd pleaser. Little Richard, by the way, turns 84 next month. He reportedly lives in Nashville, but hasn't performed in years and has largely kept away from the spotlight, which is why people love to see Dino in he action. Any part, yeah. I mean, he's, got, he's so full of energy and he's just got these contrasting jobs. And Little Richard actually recommends him for shows. Yeah, he has that's, over the years. That's great. It Can is, we go I, see him anywhere? He Where does he mostly performing? conventions yeah. and mostly out of town gigs, which he does on weekends, so he can still do his pool building during the <laughs> week, course. and then he takes off on the weekend and, and does these uh, other gigs. But um, locally, we caught up with him at St. Edward, the Confessor Fair, mm -hmm. 
Uh, he was performing with the Top Cats, but he doesn't do a lot of local performances. Okay. But go online, you can see lots Check of his performances. Out. Very good. <laughs> we proud. will.